Hello everyone, my name is Brick. Bricky, if you're feeling... <sighs> what's a good Destiny one? Uh, well, what's, what's a good Destiny meme? Um, um, uh, grindy? Grindy. Grindy. That, that's easy. I mentioned a bit ago that I had the itch to play a little bit more Destiny, and I decided to solve that itch by streaming it a bit more lately, as I mentioned. And here we are, actually, I was gonna play Mass Effect, but my Xbox is in the other room, and I just, I could not be asked to walk into the other room and bring the Xbox in. I just couldn't. But lately, I've been doing the Destiny stuff, and after doing my powerful bounties and crap, I'm kind of just rolling around getting my powerful gear and doing what I possibly can. Obviously, my character doesn't look very good right now, but I do have some interesting armor pieces that I have been enjoying lately. Funny enough, I've been really enjoying using Feedback Fence in multiplayer because uh, they're green. I don't know why they're green, but they're green. Just, just let it happen. I've been using this a whole lot mainly because it's so fun to run into a place and then like shoulder charge somebody and then completely have them punch you, someone else punch you, and then like kill themselves. Personally, I've always been a Ward of Dawn Titan. That's my big thing is the Ward of Dawn, but it sucks complete ass, and I am trying to get the code of the missile a little bit better, so... Oh, wait, I have to punch shit. Anyway, for today, I think I just have like a, yeah, just a, I have a daily strike I can do, and that's, that's pretty easy, it shouldn't be too bad. I've been playing some of the more recent strikes lately, particularly the one that came with the new Forsaken update, or whatever it was, it's, it's the one where you have to stop some, like, tech lady, or something. It's so gorgeous. It's such a beautiful strike. I was so impressed with the environment when I was going through it. And there's also the other one that I've been doing a lot of, which is the Warden of Nothing. Which, it has a giant meme, apparently, surrounding it. Something about, like, dismantle mines, yes. I didn't do House of Wolves back in the day. I raided on Vault of Glass and Crota's End, but I kind of stopped after that. I tried the Taken King a little bit, but I didn't do the House of Wolves, and I didn't really do any of the Iron Banner or Wrath of the Machine stuff afterwards. My D1 experience generally ended after Crota. Though apparently Dismantle Mines, yes, is a very big meme in the House of Wolves style thing, and oh, of course I'm on Nessus. You like my Sparrow? I call it my Lazy Boy Sparrow. It's really dumb looking, but I don't know. I will admit though, the Warden of Nothing Strike is really, really good. It's probably one of my favorite strikes here. Actually, I think the only strike I like better than the Warden of Nothing is that new one that was just added. It's it's really good. It's really nice. I have I actually haven't run any of the raids in Destiny 2 so far. I did Vault of Glass and Crows, and like I mentioned before, but I haven't run Leviathan, I haven't ran Last Wish, I haven't ran... Uh, is it Scourge of the Past? Is that the, is that the new one? Scourge of the Past, I think? I think, that's, I think that's the new one. I also didn't run whatever was in Warmind and whatever was in Curse of Osiris. I don't know what the raids were for those two areas, but... Whatever those were, I didn't run those. I, I haven't run any raids. I haven't ran any raids. However, almost everyone I talk to has constantly been on the Last Wish is the greatest raid experience ever made type train. And I will admit, that's quite impressive considering how hardcore nostalgia seems to take people over in terms of Vault of Glass. The one thing I always hated about Vault of Glass back in the day was that you were kind of time-gated. You know, you were forced to, no matter how good you were, go through the loops of the Vault of Glass, at least with the Atheon fight, all the time, and it was kind of a pain. Which is generally why I spent my time booping Atheon off the ledge so much, like I always did, all the time. Because, trust me, I was that guy. I need to probably get a raid group of some kind in order to do some fun Last Wish stuff. Because it does look really fun, and it looks like there's a lot of bosses and a lot to learn, and I would like to run some Last Wish stuff at some point. But I probably should get my gear a little bit better before I get too into it. Whee! That is easily some of the most fun I've had in a while using a super. It's not necessarily as good as Ward of Dawn. The Bubble Boy. The best Bubble Boy there has ever been. Ward of Dawn. The greatest super ever made but it's still pretty great. Also, I'm a little bit scared for the future of the human race because, I mean, we all know that people who use spectral blades don't breed. Like, they obviously don't. They use spectral blades. And wow, there are a lot of people using spectral blades. And that's a lot of players not breeding. So, I'm a little scared for humanity, man. I've been back on Destiny for like two days, and I can already tell that people who use Spectral Blades are degenerates. Also, I got this really good rocket launcher in some random drop. It's, a uh, Tracking Module and Cluster Bomb. Bad Omens is the name. 
It's very, very cool. I like how it just tracks enemies and it can just go towards them like really easily. So, good news. Good news. I got my mailbox back. I found my mailbox, so to speak. And there's good news and bad news with that mailbox. The good news is it wasn't stolen. The bad news is, because of that, the story is a lot less interesting. They moved it. And that was it. And they decided not to tell me. Because I guess they just didn't feel like it. So it turns out the people who run... Well, who... By what the floor? It seems that the HOA just does not talk to the post office at all, ever. And because of that, basically, if there's a change in the post office, if something goes somewhere else or anything like that, they, they don't know. They have no idea. So when I ask them, like, hey, where's my mailbox? They're just sitting there like, uh, not quite sure, dog. Uh, it could have been stolen and that was their best that was their best answer was it might have been stolen So there is a mailbox by my house, but it's not mine There's there's one if you have the house There's one literally across the street and that one is not mine That one is just some other neighborhoods thing So mine was across the street and then like down half a block or something That was where my normal mailbox was and so once that one down the block was removed I tried using my key on the main ones right in front of me, but that didn't work. And so after they built a ton of new houses, I, w I decided to go on a walk yesterday. I decided to walk on the neighborhood because I wanted to feel good, get a little bit of vitamin D, a little bit of sunshine. And as I was going through, I see, oh, there's a new mailbox on the other side of the block. So lo and behold, I pull out my keys. Let me check this one. Let's see if it works. Click. Boop. Oh, hey, look, there's mail from the last three weeks piled up, and now I have my mailbox back. It's kind of a sad story because I really was, I thought it'd be a lot more fun if some hoodlum just stole my mailbox. Some random guy was just like, you know what? Screw this guy. I'm taking his mailbox. I kind of wish that had happened just for the sake of the joke, and I'm a little sad that it didn't, but I'm also happy that it didn't because, come on, we don't, I don't need that. It's such a bunch of shenanigans, I swear. Part of me really wanted that mailbox to be gone. Part of me didn't, but part of me thought it would be hilarious. And it would have been hilarious. What's the point of even doing all these Vanguard things and giving him tokens? Is it just to get weapons so that I can dismantle them for legendary shards? Or is there any other legitimate reason to do so? Shotgun Toil and Trouble. Fully auto trigger system. Outlaw. Is this good? I don't know if this is good. Someone tell me if this is good or not. Anyway, my mailbox is back now. <laughs> Goody. It's back. Yay me, I guess. I feel like I gotta remember to log into Destiny every day so I can go to the spider so I can buy one enhancement core from the guy. Because it's only 10 shards, I think, for an enhancement core. And that seems very, very useful. Considering that I'm going to want to eventually redo all my weaponry. I don't know why I had the feeling to jump back into this game. But I'm having such a good time with it right now. I like the quests. I really like Gambit. Crucible isn't as AIDS as I thought it used to be. Or as it was. I mean, it's not great. Spectral Blade still exists. But it's not like the worst thing in the world, you know. I'm, I'm enjoying it. A lot, actually, and I don't entirely have a good understanding of why. I think maybe just because there's a lot of nice simplicity to it. Everything on the surface of this game is really good. The gunplay is great, the music is great, the look and environment is great. It has one of my favorite UIs of any game ever. I consider this UI so incredibly clean and well done. I don't know, the enemy variety is, is good, it, it's just, the surface level stuff of this game is just really good. It takes, you have to go really deep to see the harder, more difficult issues with the game. And honestly, it ain't even that bad. Well, at least I'm having fun, and really at the end of the day, that's all that entirely matters. If you're curious about what I'm actually really enjoying, as like really enjoying in the particular game right now, whenever I do Crucible, I really love the Mita. Mita? Moda. Mita, the multi-tool. It's such a fun weapon. I feel like it's really, really good. Having the ability to see a radar, having the ability to uh, to move faster, it just it's just really nice. I like 
I like this gun a lot. It's a lot of fun in Crucible. I also really enjoy the Sunshot because I'm not too great at hand cannons and I can shoot near them and still hit them. I don't know. I'm just... I'm having a good... This is a nice shoulder piece, too. I'm having a good time with it. I'm just really enjoying myself playing this game and just getting back on the grind. It's one of those interesting things that I like Warframe and Destiny, but I like them for different reasons. And I can probably get into that a little bit more later. Anywho, thank you for watching, everybody. My name has been Brick. You've all been absolutely beautiful. And I will see you tomorrow. Yeah. Last video is on the screen right now as well in the little annotation if you want to check that one out. Bye-bye.